How to be the best student in your class? Do you want to impress your teacher? Maybe you just want to get the most out of your school year. Whatever your reason for wanting to be the best student in your class, there are a couple of different ways you're going to want to improve yourself. Being the best student in any class grade is about more than just making the grade. It's also being a good person and showing your teacher that you take their class seriously. Getting the most out of learning. Get your brain and body ready to learn. You will learn best and have the easiest time in school if your body is ready to learn. There are lots of things that you can do to get your body ready. Try, get lots of sleep. You will need to get the right amount of sleep for your body if you want your brain to work at its best. You should feel alert through most of the day. If you find yourself needing to shut your eyes by lunch, you're not sleeping enough. For most people, you'll need about 8 hours of sleep. Your body can't work right if all you eat is junk like chips, candy, and hamburgers. If you want to be the best student you can be, eat your vegetables like broccoli, some fruit, and lean proteins like chicken and fish, drink plenty of water. Your brain needs water in order to work right. In fact, your whole body needs water in order to work right. Drink several glasses of water a day but keep in mind that some people need more water than others. Learn in a way that works for you. Everyone learns best in different ways, this is called a learning style. Find a way that works for you and try to learn that way as much as you can. You'll have more control over this when you study at home, but you can also talk to your teacher about adjusting how the lessons are taught to include more variety for different style learners. For example, have you noticed that it's really easy for you to remember charts or pictures? This means you might be a visual learner, which means you should use more images and pictures in order to learn. An example of this would be if you drew yourself a chart to memorize the parts of speech. Maybe you've noticed that you have an easier time studying when you listen to music quietly or that you can't remember what your teacher wrote on the board but you can hear what they said in your head as if they were in the room now. This means you might be an auditory learner, which means you learn better with sound. An example of this would be if you record your teacher when they're talking so that you can listen to it while you do your homework or study. Maybe you've noticed that, during a lesson, you feel like you still want to pay attention but you really need to stand up or move around. Maybe you pace around your room while you study. This might mean that you are a kinesthetic learner, which means you learn better when you're doing things with your body. Try playing with a piece of clay in your hand while your teacher talks. For example, have you noticed that it's really easy for you to remember charts or pictures? This means you might be a visual learner, which means you should use more images and pictures in order to learn. An example of this would be if you drew yourself a chart to memorize the parts of speech, maybe you've noticed that you have an easier time studying when you listen to music quietly or that you can't remember what your teacher wrote on the board but you can hear what they said in your head as if they were in the room now. This means you might be an auditory learner, which means you learn better with sound. An example of this would be if you record your teacher when they're talking so that you can listen to it while you do your homework or study. Maybe you've noticed that, during a lesson, you feel like you still want to pay attention but you really need to stand up or move around. Maybe you pace around your room while you study. This might mean that you are a kinesthetic learner, which means you learn better when you're doing things with your body. Try playing with a piece of clay in your hand while your teacher talks. Pay attention. The best thing that you can do to become the best student in any class is pay attention when your teacher is talking. If you get distracted you might miss important information and you'll have a harder time understanding what to do or when you have to study later. If you're having trouble staying focused when your teacher is talking, try sitting in the front and participating more in the class. Raise your hand and ask questions when you don't understand something or when your teacher says something interesting and you want to know more about it. If you're having trouble staying focused when your teacher is talking, try sitting in the front and participating more in the class. Raise your hand and ask questions when you don't understand something or when your teacher says something interesting and you want to know more about it. Learn how to take notes. Taking notes and taking notes well can be tricky, but it will make it much easier for you to learn and study, which means your grades will get better and your test scores will improve so you're the best student in your class. Just remember, you don't have to write down everything your teacher says. Just write down the most important things and the things you know you'll have a hard time remembering. Do your homework on time and well. Even if you don't get very good grades on your homework, just doing it on time will help keep your grade up as much as possible. You should aim to make your homework marks the highest in the class or you're not really trying to be the best in your class. Beyond that, do as well on your homework as you can. When you don't understand it, ask someone for help. Your teacher might be able to set you up with a tutor or even help you themselves. 
schedule enough time to actually get your homework done. This might mean watching less TV or spending less time with your friends but it will be worth it in the end. Getting a good environment to do homework will really help you to get it done. Go somewhere quiet where you don't have any distractions. If you can go to a library, that's a good spot. If you can't leave your house and the people you live with are noisy, try your bedroom. Look for extra ways to learn. Learning stuff that ISNT included in your classes can help you understand the information you do cover a lot better and it can also really impress your teacher. Pursuing information in a way that follows your interests can also help you stay focused in class. Look for more ways to learn about all of the subjects you study and you'll find that all of school is more interesting and that you're more and more successful. For example, if you're studying American history, you can watch documentaries online to learn even more about the era you're learning about. You can learn by studying books from your local library and you can also learn a lot online. While Wikipedia ISNT always accurate, it's usually pretty good. You can also find documentaries and educational videos on YouTube, like the popular shows Crash Course and TED Talks. These have a lot information that your teacher or professor didn't explain it well enough for you. Learn when school is out of session too. Keep learning during the summer, on the weekends, and start preparing for your next year of school as early as you can by finding out what kind of stuff you'll study. As for the summers, just reviewing the information you already learned for just two or three hours three or four times over the course of the whole summer can help make sure that you're ready when the school year starts. Study earlier. When you see the amount of portions just before a test, you may get scared. One of the most effective ways to get better scores on tests is to start studying and preparing for the test as early as possible. Definitely don't leave it until the night before. Write down the possible questions that can come on the test and start jotting down key points. Try waking up a little early the morning of the test and skim through notes you made while you were studying. It can really help you grasp last-minute details by review those notes one last time. The harder the test will be, the earlier you should start studying. Two or three weeks is usually a good starting point.